Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related is Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders and today we're going to be taking a look at the GG Ithaca uh, made by Golden Greek MEO, maker of the GGTS, the Odysseus, the Penelope, um, and other Golden Greek products. Um, it is a rebuildable silica atomizer. Very nice, well machined, um, very nice product. So we're going to take a close look at it, I'm going to build it, get it all coiled up and fill it with juice and ready to vape. And at the end of the video, I have an awesome giveaway. So stay tuned, uh, watch the video, hope you like it. And it's a little bit longer one, so I know. Um, but this is what I got, let's get right to it. Okay, folks, so here we go. Here is the fully disassembled and close-up of the Ithaca made by GG Golden Greek. Okay, um, now including all of these little O-rings right here that are left on some of these little sections right here. I left an O-ring on right here. There are 25 pieces in total okay that can be quite intimidating to some people but um uh, in my opinion all these pieces serve a purpose and uh, are very well machined and once you fool around with them a little bit and, and rebuild it a couple times um, it's not that hard to handle or deal with and anybody can do it Okay, so I'm going to start off with the 510 connection here, all stainless steel. My, everything that is metal here is all stainless steel except for this little piece, which is brass. Okay, <clears throat> and that piece right there is your adjustable uh, post connection. All right, so right here we have the 510 uh, connection base piece. And you'll notice that there is a little slot right here. Now this slot is where your uh, air is going to be coming in. There is no air holes on your 510 connection like most devices. This air is coming in right here, kind of like your GGTS. Now I just took off my air ring for my TS to show you folks this. You'll notice that the air slot is very similar. Okay but the air slot on the TS is a little bit smaller than the air slot and the Ithaca. All right. So uh, you will be getting a little better airflow on using this connection uh, 510 devices. <clears throat> so uh, on the inside, like the TS as well, you do have some threading and on here and your TS is the same exact size threading and everything so you can take this piece and thread it into your 510 connection device or thread it in directly to your TS and eliminate the 510 connection which is really nice so if you do have a TS you are not going to be using this piece and you can put it off to the side and just use your air control valve that's on the TS itself <clears throat> So the air control ring does have a little uh, O-ring in it and does go right down over this little slot. And when it's on there, you can adjust it to have more airflow or less airflow. So when you open it wide up, you'll be getting as much airflow as you can or as there possible available. And having it down, it will be really tight. Uh, okay, really tight air draw. And then the base of the Ithaca screws directly into this or your TS like I showed you, um, which will be this base does have an O-ring on the outside for where your tank comes in contact with this base. And this threading on the inside will hold this uh, metal housing, which will hold 
this housing that holds the ceramic. So this will go in here like so. Um, and you'll notice the little slots on this piece right here, uh, which is basically juice control for your wicks. Okay, I'm just going to take that off for a minute and just explain that a, a little more detail in a minute. So your ceramic um, cup right here, which your wicks will be uh, placed into. Now I said wicks because there are two chambers. You can have this as a, a dual wick setup or a single wick setup. So single wick setup. I prefer having two wicks on my Ethica. Um, it has been performing really, really nice with two wicks. Um, performing great with one wick, but I like the two, the dual wick setup. Very nice vapor. Very nice flavor. Uh, the stainless steel housing that holds your ceramic cup. This is a brand new ceramic cup and I was putting it in and out of this um, metal housing because they are kind of like a little tight when, when you first put a brand new one in. I'm just going to push it down all the way. Fits in there nice and snug. Okay. And there is these chambers on this side and little metal chambers on this side. These metal chambers, when the wire is running down here, will be grounded out with this metal. So there was these. this side will act as your negative and this side will act as your positive. All right. So this little next little piece right here, it looks like a little top hat type thing with little grooves in it. Okay. So I'm going to take this and flip it or just put it in just like that. Now, if you notice the way these chambers roll, um, they come across and there's two little cutouts in this little top hat in there. Let me try to get a close up. Okay, you can see them little grooves right there. Now them little grooves, if you have them positioned like that, when the air is coming in and your wicks are positioned over this way, the air will be hit in both sides of the wicks. Now if they're positioned this way, chamber let me try to move it here position like this it's only going to be hitting the outside of the wick when the air comes in kind of understand that okay um, so I like to position the slots or grooves in this little piece right like that so the wicks and the coils are getting uh, the full um, availability of the air. So let me just take that out for one second and explain this little plastic Delrin piece, little threaded. It will screw right onto the base of this little housing right here. Screw it all the way up. And now when your wires are coming down the side right here and through them chambers, uh, you can wrap it around the bottom uh, base of this and then tighten it down and loosen off your screws or break off the end of the screws. Now this is your positive post, but if you notice, there's metal showing right there. Okay, so if I take this um, positive post and push it right in like that, now this is actually touching the metal base. So it's going to be grounded out and the positive post is not going to be, uh, it's going to be shortened out right there. So what you need is this little plastic insulator right here and pushed all the way down onto that little um, grooved or knurled uh, I don't know what you want to call it <laughs> piece right there <laughs> machine section right there so now when I push this in up against this it is actually not touching the metal so when you push it through there is no insulator inside that hole there and this is your positive post so you do not want this positive post touching the sides right here now the way that helps it from not happening you'll see that it is pretty well machined on the inside of that ceramic housing and with this metal piece tightening it down, let's just put it together right here. 
and just start screwing when you put this in there and just start screwing it in there it just automatically catches now I'm just gonna position these little grooves to where I like them positioned and then just tighten it down okay so now you'll notice that this positive post is not shorting out and not touching and is <laughs> it's kind of amazing how that is without an insulator in there uh, but it really works so this this little thumb screw right there you can just loosen up and wait for your wire to be put on there now we have this little um, o-ring which will be helping us with our positive wires that just goes up against this little knurled section and I'll be showing you how to wrap your wire around there and then your little extension for your positive post which can be adjustable just screws right into the bottom did I put this on wrong? Yep. It will screw right on there. And there you go. So there's your adjustable little positive pin post. And it is brass. So there is the center housing right there, all um, assembled. So let's put it together and um, put this piece in here um, the way this works is you're going to end up pushing this here i'm going to take off this because i'm going to be putting it in my ts um, the way this works is when you have this on this section right here you can see these little uh, grooves right here and that will depending on where you position these grooves where you position this housing you can position that groove right over the wicks and a lot of juice is hitting the wicks okay or you can have it pulled away and it it adjusts the juice flow going into the wicks which really works well um, sometimes I need depending on the thickness of the juice I need to position it right over the wicks other times I position it half over the wicks and it really works nicely okay um, I'm gonna put the wicks and coils in here I had not even wrapped any wicks yet so um, you can watch my other video on how to uh, connect no resistance and resistant wire together but right here, I just have um, a no resistant resistant wire. And I'm going to just start wrapping a coil around this 2 millimeter eco wall, just like so. Nice and close together. And the one thing that you have to remember when you're making two wicks that you're going to be using on the same device is that you want them the same exact resistance okay because if they're not the same resistance one one coil or one wick is going to be hitting hotter than the other and that's not what you want you want them both to be hitting the same exact resistance okay so there's one and here's the other one so the way you will determine that having the same exact resistance is the canthal in the center is going to have to be the same exact length okay and here's the other one to the side and position one into this housing 
Now working with two wicks on this can be a little challenging. Um, what you're going to do is just position it right into one side. Okay. Just like so. And I'm going to pull out the one side that way and pull out the other side that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the negative first. So um, the negative is going to be the side that I'm pulling down through the metal chambers on this metal side. And what I'm going to do is pull it down and wrap it right in above this little thumb screw right there. Okay. And I'm not even going to break that off yet because I'm going to actually take the other wick and put it in there as well on the other side. Okay. So there we go here. I'm just going to pull that off to the side so they're not in my way. And then just take this, pull it down into that metal chamber and just wrap it around there. Now I can tighten up this little thumb screw right here nice and snug. Okay. And both of these wires can be broken off by twisting them around and they're nice and flush in there. So now what I have is two wires coming down the ceramic chambers, okay? But you gotta make sure that we're not touching any of the negative sections. So this housing right here is grounded out. The only thing that I wanna be touching is the bottom base post right here. So I, where I want to put it is coming down this chamber and I want it wrapped around right under here in between this little metal ring right here and this washer. So right on that metal post. So I'm just going to take it and bring it right down and wrap it right there. Make sure it goes right in one of those grooves in there. And the same goes for that. Now I can go the opposite way. And it seems to work out better that way so they're not both going the same distance. And then just push up that little O-ring right up against that little section right there, that little piece. And then take a pair of scissors and Cut off any extra pieces. Okay. And what you will need to make sure is if any little pieces are sticking out, they get tucked in. Because if they don't get tucked in, there's a possibility that it will be grounding out on the other piece that will be setting this housing in. Okay, so that's how easy it is to put your wicks in. Then you just take your wicks and stuff them down into these chambers. And I found that the two millimeter eco will or the three millimeter silica works really nice and fits really good. Okay, so that's in there nice and snug. And those coils look really nice and we can make any adjustments to that when we need to. Um, 
So what I really want to do is trim these wicks. And where I like to trim them is right below that O-ring. So I'm just going to take my scissors in one more time. And just trim it right there. Right there. Okay, come on. Why that one didn't cut? I don't know. Okay. So there we go. All right. I'm going to set this down for one minute, and I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to screw this onto this section right here. Okay. Make sure it's going in nice and even because I had it cross-threaded one time. Not on this device, but on a different Ithaca that I was helping my friends set up. So I like to bring it up just to right about there where the wicks are just coming out. And then I can take my housing, uh, the bottom base piece, and start screwing it into there. Okay, and now you can take this and tighten in the metal housing piece. And then you can position this where you want it to be. You want to make it come all the way down to the bottom first. Okay, and wherever you want those little grooves or those little openings, that is where um, you're going to adjust your juice flow. So me particularly, I like to just bring it over just a little bit on that one, and on the other side, it's touching that one. So both wicks have an opening right down at the base. Okay? So there's the wick setup. I can actually take it and put it into my TS. And adjust it so I can put it in there and put on my O-ring. My adjustable airflow ring. up and see what we got here Okay, they're both glowing pretty nice. I just want to move them around a little bit. I always tend to like moving around when they're hot because they move around nice and easy when they're hot. And I just want to make sure they're not touching each other. Sorry that you can't see that that good. There you go. blowing nice you'll notice that the outside wraps will not glow because that is the no resistance I always wrap like one wrap of the no resistance around there well not all the way just like in the middle of it and you tend to see it on there so there's that um, I can adjust uh, the air or the juice flow um, before I put it together I'm gonna take it back apart off the TS all right so now, um, your mouthpiece, like the G or like the Odysseus, does act as juice control as well. So when there is threading in there, when you do 
put this on this housing and you screw it all the way down okay and you open it up you can let more juice flow into your wicks okay you see that when you're loosening it up and tightening it down you can close the juice or open the juice so you have two juice control valves like uh, this little slot and your mouthpiece um, over at clouds of vapor MEO did sell uh, one of these and this is a mouthpiece just like uh, the original but what you can do with this is put any other 510 drip tip in there okay so you can use any drip tip you want with this um, and use that on your Ithaca so you can switch it up this is also available for the Odysseus as well <clears throat> but I'm going to use the standard Odysseus mouthpiece and I'm just going to tighten it down on back down on there I'm gonna bring it down all the way now we can talk about the tank section right here the base piece actually has a GG engraved logo there you can see the wings and then on the other side you have the um, serial number engraved okay so now this base piece will be going all the way down at the bottom and screwing down onto it make sure it's nice and tight up against that o-ring so there is no leaking of juices okay and then we have a clear section it is just like a uh, it's not glass it's like a plastic material polycarbonate with o-rings on both sides we'll screw right into that serial number ring make sure this is nice and snug okay and then we have the top tank section which will get screwed on there nice and snug as well okay and I'll just clean off my fingerprints to keep paper towels around your GG's all right and now your top cap is this little nicely polished section which will go directly onto the top tank section screwed together another o-ring tighten down nice and snug almost coming together and now while we have it right here we can put juice into it Okay, I'm just going to grab my juice here. Alright, I'm just going to be vaping some fancy e-juice meese tracks. And I do have a little fill. Um, eyedropper. I'm just going to take it and... Squirt it up against the mouthpiece there. And I think that's going to be about it. Okay. Let me just tighten this up so I don't spill it. All right, folks. So now, last but not least, we're going to take the little O-ring and place it on there, and the little top cap, actually, I forgot, 
your ring goes in the little top cap right there. Okay, then this top cap does go on. And I'm gonna put it on the right way, ain't I? Come on. Did I not put the old ring on right? Okay. Okay. I've never had this problem. I'm not catching right. There we go. Wow. So there you go. You can adjust the juice by loosening this up. My hands are all slippery. Got juice on it. You can adjust the juice by lifting it up or pushing it down. I'm just going to place it onto the GG TS. Make sure that's all the way tightened. Shine it up one more time. Get my fingerprints all off of it. Okay, folks. There is the GG Ithaca. Let's vape it and see what I think about it. Okay, so there you go. There is the close-up of the GG Ithaca. I know it is quite long, but um, there's a lot of pieces, 25 pieces all together. Um, so I hope it helps some people uh, if they're having problems building it, knowing how to get to it or what parts were put where. Um, and for people that have never seen an Ithaca, what's involved with it. Um, in my opinion, uh, I have not found a GG product that I haven't liked. Um, the Ithaca is one of my favorite devices to use, um, to vape on, and I think it is sexy as hell on the GGTS. <clears throat> I am a GG fan. So, um, let me give it a vape. Like I said, I have some Mise tracks in here, 18 milligram. I believe it's 50-50 mix. <clears throat> great vapor production. The flavor is great. Um, the thing that I really like about this device is that you can adjust the juice flow. Um, so if you're vaping a different juice than you're used to, you might have to open it up a little bit more than you're used to or close it down a little bit. Usually with 50-50 blends, I find that putting it that little slot a little bit halfway over um, the one coil or the one wick and then opening it up about halfway gives me a nice juice flow I don't get no dry hits um, and it vapes great uh, in my opinion Emil did a great job um, obviously uh, there's already a uh, Chinese manufacturer already cloning it so it's a great product, um, and what I expect from MEO anyhow. But that's the Ithaca, folks. I'm not going to sit here and talk. I know I kind of bored a lot of people with the close-up, but there's a lot of pieces to get to. Um, that's the Ithaca. It's a win in my book. If you have a chance to pick one up, I highly suggest it. I know they're on a little bit pricey side, but um, uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to win one. So right now, um, I have in my possession a brand new Ithaca. When I purchased this one, I got another one. So 
here is a brand new Ithaca, never used, never filled, um, still in the package, okay? Um, the way my giveaways work, my neighbor's pulling me with the motorcycle, I'm sorry for the sound. But um, the way this works is you have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. So, so subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment on this video. Easy as that. Let your friends know. Let everybody know that I'm giving away an Ithaca. Um, that's it. Must be 18 year old to enter. Um, only one entry per person. I don't care what country you're from. I will ship it to you. Um, I will provide tracking if it gets to you that's another story but I will provide tracking and I will send it to you um, 18 year old one person one entry per person and I don't care where you live that's it so tell everybody and be kind to one another and keep on vaping everybody take care